Hi Scorpio, welcome to your July 2017 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. So before I begin, I just um, had someone comment on another sign. These are general focus readings. I do have separate love readings, but I had commented when I was doing another sign that it looked like a love reading. And I, and I was kind of joking because I had already done a love reading. And that's just how sometimes these general foc focus readings end up, you know. You look at that and there's a whole bunch of cards that seem to indicate a romantic situation. But, I don't know, maybe I confused someone by saying that. These readings can be about um, career matters as well. So, it's, it, you know, it all depends on what um, cards come up here. I guess you could always apply it to any situation in your life. Okay, you have some really nice cards here. I probably should have moved them over though because I'm gonna just for the heck of it, I'm gonna pick a card from my Law of Attraction deck too, just for kind of, I'm gonna put all these to the side. I love the light when it's just like this, but this is kind of like late morning. It's like the perfect light for my type of camera. Okay. Okay, I got friendship for you. I will be reading that in a second. Okay, so let me look at this for a second. The overall focus for July is the Chariot card, and this is a card of victory. So this could be some success in your career endeavors. And with the Chariot, sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on around you, but you manage to pull in the reins of that horse and are able to harness your power of intention and focus and make things happen and it can be a very gratifying experience now in personal relationships this could relate to a cancer individual because i did get a you know a cups card in the past which is you know talking about water sign energy so that's always a possibility too but in the past position i got the nine of cups a really positive card of making your uh, it's the wish fulfillment card so making your dreams come true it can be also, it's, it, you know, because it is of the cups suit, it's going to be an emotional thing, primarily where you're feeling very satisfied with your life because something has happened that, it, that you really wanted to happen. But also, it, it is connected to financial gain too. I think I, I have to like research this more of like why that is, but it probably has to do with the number nine uh, being connected to the the ninth house and Jupiter. Jupiter expands things, so maybe you have an increase in finances. This is in the past position, but don't get caught up in that because you may be watching this in June and it's in your future. Um, and of course, this being a general reading i don't put too much stock in the predictions but look at the themes i think that's more important than the the actual details of what's going to happen when it's going to happen and you know if something good has happened to you recently then that leads to more 
of the same, more victories, maybe a, a workplace situation or a love relationship that you've always wanted. You know, that's definitely a possibility too. And um, so this is you now, Queen of Wands. This is a, like if you're a woman, I don't really like to limit gender, but this, the, this is a court card, so sometimes this can literally be what it represents. Now, if you're a woman, you could be a supervisor and you're a very good boss to other people. This is a card associated with, I believe, Sagittarius. But, you know, any of that fire element or Leo, I think it should be Leo with the sunflower. But um, Aries is the other fire sign. This could also be the person that you're with. But it, it definitely has that flavor of somebody who's an authority figure, but they are an inspiration to other people. They're not like... Sometimes this can be a little bit like a diva or domineering in some way, but there's a very positive quality to this, this energy because it's a combination of male and female energy. The person isn't too aggressive, but they're also not too passive. And that, you know, you are a passive sign, believe it or not, Scorpio, uh, being a water sign. And the combination of the fire and the, the feminine energy can be somebody who's assertive, but also compassionate, you know, something like something along those lines. So if you are in that position, you come across to other people uh, as very cheerful and can do, and you have the ability to inspire others and lead them in a good way, not boss them around. This could just simply be, uh, for some people, becoming a mother and being very enthusiastic about being a mother. Um, perhaps that was what your goal was um, or your dream was to become a mother. Um, with the cups, you're talking about fertility, the water element, creativity. And the fire is creative too. So there's, there's many possibilities, but it is a very positive card. The higher message is the Ace of Cups. So yes, I mean, um, a new love that inspires you. Now, e even with career matters, this could be fulfilling some kind of dream. The higher message is the Ace of Cups, which is an offer of love. And this may also be a card of indicating pregnancy maybe conceiving a child. But this is something that aligns with your soul. So it may be part of your soul's mission if it's a position, a job position. It may be something that is much more aligned to you on a deeper level. Uh, perhaps in the past you were kind of, I don't know, tempted away by jobs that were that paid more money that had more prestige but they didn't offer you the sense of i don't know expressing your soul through your work and this may do that we're getting a lot of cups i mean the chariot relates to or you know water energy relates to cancer and then you have the nine of cups and now the ace of cups so this is something that is very much connected to what a Scorpio person would prefer in their life. But if you had another type of career that was very lucrative, it can be hard to break away from that, even if it was costly in other ways. It may have not given you... Um, it may have been very stressful, for one thing, you know. And... Um, a relationship, you know, maybe you were in a relationship that had certain, I don't know, things that made it um, desirable, 
but not the love because that's what this is all about is love and this is like soul level love what crosses you is the knight of wands this is one of these people who is like a womanizer they may tempt you into some kind of quick affair this may be somebody that you've dealt with on again off again and you probably are on to this person and know what their limitations are and you you may not be emotionally hung up on them maybe at one time you were but you're over them it's just that perhaps you have a great physical chemistry um, this is associated with with um, Sagittarius but I connect it personally to Aries uh, another fire sign because of the warrior thing and this person can be very exciting and they can make if your life is pretty bland they can spice it up but they're not reliable they're very chaotic in your life and if you have a new relationship you could threaten the you know the viability of that relationship by being tempted by that person and so you have to ask yourself if you feel if, if this person comes back in your life the first thing to say is why would I even risk my new relationship for this um, in the case of anything job related there may be this part of you that wants to just explore perhaps you have uh, it could be your own business that you have that is very much a labor of love and it's coming from the heart it may be something spiritual like um i don't know reiki practice or i'm trying to think of something just along those lines that deals with maybe something like what i am doing here um and you feel this like you're connecting with people on a deeper deeper level with what you're doing maybe something with art something with crafts but regardless there may be a part of you that likes the 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 kind of rough and tumble of whatever this represents maybe even the competition if you were in a field that was very cutthroat but you enjoyed it in one area it was very stressful but it was kind of invigorating and so i i sense with this ace of cups energy a very kind of mellow um high vibe environment but depending on you and you may even have some sagittarius in your chart you may crave some of that adventure you know or even passion that this kind of is not uh, like and so you there may be like things that you're missing and that's something that is just part of life when you make one choice and you have to give up something else it you have to make a trade-off obviously the advice or what's coming in is the devil card so this is the card of temptation and it's kind of going along with what I just said with the knight of wands perhaps you will be uh, tempted in some way tested uh, to see if you really want what you say you want and if there's a sense of any kind of um, I don't know feeling that you don't know which direction to go perhaps you aren't in love but I really feel with the nine of cups and the ace of cups that you do have a sense of being in love and the devil card may just be the shadow aspect of yourself that still is trying to lead you astray and keep you down so to speak and maybe like uh, push you away from the good things that are um, your birthright the outcome is the high priestess this is a card about connecting with your higher self there could be something that needs to be revealed to you that um, if you've taken a new job position 
perhaps they're going to tell you other things that you didn't know that are going to be required of you. Uh, if you're dealing with a new person, you may have to find out certain things about them as well. And that's fine. But this could just simply be that you need to meditate more, trust your intuition. If you've been feeling a little bit tempted and a little bit um, confused about the direction you need to go in, and um, you'll be good. You know, you do have cards, those cards on the top level and the higher message are wonderful cards. So probably you're doing very well in July. Now, in addition to that, I wanted to read your Law of Attraction card. It says friendship. Looks like a Egyptian theme here. Special friends are there to help me and bring me strength during difficult times. So that is just something. And it was funny, I was just thinking about that. I was thinking about when people fall in love, how they tend to just like drop their friends and focus on their new relationship. So if you're in a new relationship with somebody, don't get so wrapped up in that relationship that you not only drop your friends that you usually hang out with, but also just yourself. Don't get so caught up in a new relationship that you don't take time to just be alone on a regular basis. It's a very good way to avoid getting too caught up in a relationship in the early stages when you're still getting to know that person because then if you find out <laughs> things that are not so pleasant, um, you really haven't invested your entire soul in that situation. So there's a little bit more detachment. So Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. It will take you to rainandmoonastrology.com, and uh, I have different types of readings. I wish you all the best in July. Bye.